Hello everybody and welcome back. I wanted to make a quick video in response to a viewer question on my other video that I did on using the Microsoft whiteboard. Um, so what was happening is, is with, there's an instructor, a kindergarten teacher, who wants to draw a couple of circles and then wants to move images between those circles. And normally that shouldn't be a big problem, but there are a couple of gotchas in there that can be a little bit frustrating. So a couple of things. First of all, if I go into my settings, I can turn on my ink to shape. And when I turn on my ink to shape, what that does is if I go in, oh, I got a new subscriber. Hey, welcome. Um, if I go into my ink to shape and I draw a circle, what will happen is it'll automatically create a circle there. And if I draw a triangle, it'll be a triangle. If I draw a square, it'll be a square. Okay, pretty straightforward. My square wasn't so good. My rectangle wasn't so good. But if I draw one that's, you know, rough, it'll actually turn it into a nice square. Actually, this works out really well because if I then go and try to erase an auto-completed one, it won't erase it. Same with the triangle and same with this auto-cleaned up square. But notice the one that wasn't cleaned up, I can erase it. And the reason is it actually makes these into objects and that can be great or it can be a little bit frustrating. And what I mean by that is that if I then go into insert something against this image. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to maybe grab a Bing image. So I'll go into a Bing image and I'll do a search for, let's say, a car. So I'm going to search for a little car and we'll choose this guy here and I'll add it in. So now I have this Bing image of a car and I want to make it a little bit smaller so we can, of course, adjust the size and I put it into that square. Okay. And so far, everything's going really well. I click on it again, and I can move it over here to the triangle. I'll just move it over here to the triangle. But what happens on occasion is that when I have this image, especially if I move away from pens, I go back to my pens, I do some stuff with my pens, I come back here, is that when I click on it, it will sometimes incorporate that circle as part of the object. So what I want to show you here is underneath the pen, we have a lasso object. And that can be really handy because what I can do is lasso that image and then I can move it as a whole. So if for any reason that image becomes sort of trapped and part of the object here, I can just use my lasso, I can select the object, and then it's a separate object that I can then move around on my canvas. So to go to that uh, previous uh, question that I had from a subscriber, if I had two circles, so I have a nice circle here, and a nice circle here. That's not a good circle at all, but I can erase it because it's not an object. Uh, and I make a, a hopefully a nice circle over here. And let's say I want to do an exercise where I talk about things that are big and things that are small. So I have a car. Oh, I just drew on there so I can erase that. So I go back to my canvas here where I can move things around. So somebody says, is a car big or small? It's big, right? is, uh, you know, some other object, big or small, it's small. So I can move things back and forth quite nicely. And if for some reason it gets entrapped within that object, let's move this over here, if it gets entrapped within the object and they sort of become one object, so I can't get it out, what I can do to get it out is I can go to my pens and I can lasso the object in there and that'll make it a discrete thing that I can move around. So... Uh, it's a little bit of a hassle to have to use the lasso to do that, but sometimes it just does get sort of trapped and this becomes one big object. And that's the easiest way that I have found to pull that object out is to lasso it and grab it. So I hope that helps that viewer and other viewers as well on how to maybe work with uh, you know shapes here. So again, if you want to do that, you can go in here and go ink to shape. Um, if you want it so that you can erase the circles, so if you're doing an activity where you want to be able to erase the circle, you won't be able to erase it if you have the ink to shape on. What you can do to get rid of it, of course, is you can lasso it and you can delete it to get rid of it that way. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and any more questions, just ask me. If I can't answer them in text, I'll answer them by video.